Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video we are talking about Nest.js architecture. So this video is a pa part of the playlist Nest.js Advanced Course 2024. And I will keep adding more videos uh, in the same playlist. So we are just talking about uh, the Nest.js architecture in this video. Right, so I mean I have covered uh, a lot about Nest.js. This video is coming after a lot late. So, but uh, if we talk about Nest.js, Nest.js addresses a key issue in the Node.js app development is that is the absence of a proper structured architecture. Like if you have used Express, which is a minimalistic, unopinionated web framework, right? I mean, if you want to build something fast, you can go ahead with Express, but it doesn't provide a structured architecture. That is something which Nest.js is providing us. It is borrowing things heavily from Angular architecture. Nest.js offers a path out of architecture wilderness because it empowers your application with heavily on TypeScript and it provides a proper structure of everything you built in the Nest.js. Nest.js offers consistency, code structure. I mean, when you when you look at the code structure of Nest.js, something like this, you yeah, you are e easily able to understand, okay, this is service, this is controller, this is module. And we are building the code in the modular structure where we are creating modules, controllers, services and all. And more importantly, Nest.js provides the, the basic aspect, which is inversion of control and dependency injection. That is actually the root of any software development design, the dependency injection. Because what happens is, let's say, we are writing these simple two classes without IOC container, let's say, I'm just writing a simple services without uh, Node.js, Nest.js, or maybe just using Node.js, right? I create a one class, Pathfinder, right? And this is the map service I'm injecting in the constructor. So here you see what is the, what is the difference we are making here is, we need to have a map service and we are tightly coupling the Pathfinder service with the map service. So Pathfinder can be instantiated when we have a map service available and we are doing a constructor it's not a dependency injection but we are just creating the object of map service with the pathfinder let's say in this way you have 10 different classes and you start designing the classes with the dependency injection like this it will become messier right so what is the solution solution is an inversion of control container which uh, i mean the nest just provides it's not something which only nest just provides so there is an inversify is a npm module that also i mean nest.js came now earlier we used to use inversify for creating these kind of ioc container where you, from where you can actually get the instance of service when i have used it but after having nest.js inversify is like dead okay here with the vanilla node.js we are what we are doing we are doing a tight coupling this is tight dependency injection. I mean, it's not injection. It's just like a tight coupling of two classes, class A into B, where B, B's object is getting created in the constructor of A. This is not scalable enough. This is not a good design. And we are doing it because we don't have a IOC container. But now we have, uh, because now we have Nest.js, right? So if you see, this is the earlier design we have. And here we have this map service. And we are creating the object of the map service inside a pathfinder. This is without dependency injection and typical way of uh, adding the creating the object of another class in the constructor of another class. So here class A depends on class B, but with the Nest.js, we have a dependency injection system. Nest.js automatically provides the necessary dependencies to the different part of the application. I mean, it reduces the tight, tight coupling. You can see here, I created a map service and then I have injected the map service inside the constructor of the Pathfinder. So Pathfinder is another class and I'm doing a DI of a map service into the Pathfinder service. It's really maintainable. Nest.js maintains the IOC container and whenever any classes or any component needs the instance of that class, then it provides through this, this IOC container. So this is called dependency inversion is an implementation or a technique known as inversion of control IOC, where you give up 
control of instantiation and dependencies to the nest.js IOC container. So you see here I'm not anywhere do you see I'm writing a new map service inside a pathfinder class no right because I have given the control of creating the object of map service to the IOC container which is nest.js runtime instead of doing it imperatively in the code which we are doing here it's better that assign the task of creating the object of the class to the IOC container and IOC container is very well doing it and here what we are doing is constructor based in, uh, injection here inside a pathfinder class we are injecting the map service inside the constructor so this is how we do the uh, constructor based injection and for that I mean how we made the map service injectable because we are using these meta data decorators which are predefined these are like nest.js decorator if you see the syntax injectable is this how we use this is called the decorators they are like the labels that provide extra instructions to the compiler they are annotations that enhance the behavior of the class I mean we use at, at the rate module at the rate injectable at the rate pipe at the rate controllers all these are just to tell compiler okay treat this class as a route treat this class as an injectable service treat this class as a, a module right and if we talk about setting up nest.js is very simple and easy coming to the architecture we build uh, any nest.js application something like this i mean this is how we should do it nest.js already provide a structured folder structure we are i mean you just create keep creating the modules controller services inside it and the di system works like this let's say you have a chat service so you can create a chat module independently where you can have a chat helpers utility chat service and user module where user service needs the instance of chat service you don't need to uh, uh, i mean duplicate the code or you don't need to create the object of chat service inside the user service what you can do is you can do a constructor injection of the chat service inside a user service and this is how you will get the service object other than that i mean if we talk about the building blocks and all those things how these modules are designed then you can see here this is the really important part i mean this is how the node.js is managing everything inside it here you can see we are creating a module and inside this module we are defining okay our, uh, is let's say here i'm talking about the user module user module needs to access the user ser uh, chat service so i need to define the dependence i need to put the chat module inside the import declaration of user module here uh, i mean if let's say if this is a user module here then i need to define chat module here and then if once you have defined the dependency you should be able to access the chat service inside this user service right and you can define the user controller all the where you you have defined the routes and all so this is how you define the dependency of modules and this is how it really works your imports imports is like okay what are the dependencies you you might be importing external logger module config module your controller and your providers all the providers you can define here and let's say this is uh, for me this is a chat module okay and this is chat service and this is let's say chat controller now important thing is let's say it, it, it might be using config module where you are getting the Twilio uh, configurations right chat controller chat service now let's say what is this export export defines that whatever the service you put inside the export these things are exportable and can be used by other module now this user module on user service can use chat service because this chat service is exportable exported from the chat module so now in this uh, user module this user service can access uh, the chat service and explicitly we have defined the dependency that the user module has a chat module already imported so i can access the chat service but you can access it only because this chat service is exported from the chat module if i don't do this and even if you are doing it something like this 
user service will not be able to find chat service because chat service is not exported from chat module i mean these are like uh, the minor uh, parts of architecture this is how we define the exports controllers providers and all so this is like a basic uh, how we create a ioc container ioc container is maintained internally by nest js and you might have seen sometimes cyclic dependency because what happens is like let's say you have chat module and chat service you also added a user service as a dependency in the chat service so you can see it's a cyclic dependency and nest js cannot allow that this is simple because while instantiating a chat service you are dependent on the user service and while instantiating user service you are dependent on chat service so none of them can be instantiated successfully because they are interdependent on each other and for cyclic dependency you have to explicitly define a forward reference and you can resolve those kind of things but you have to explicitly tell nest yes container okay we are dependent interdependent on each other try to resolve it somehow okay in that case that ioc container does tweak something and the, it allows you to access the objects like this so this is the part one where i'm just talking about uh, all these building blocks and how we create module how we share services how we import modules into one another and how this ioc container works how this ioc container makes nest js is different because earlier we were not having these kind of ioc enabled framework now nest js is there so that's why it is popular i will say let's take a look on to the part 2 where we will talk about the internals of the module system